So, Ron, do you have a favorite in this race to win? So we got the DD2 race going on as well as a shifter. What do you think? You know, Stephen and Brian are two very competitive young men, and um, neither one of them likes to lose. No, no, absolutely. Both strong competitors. Very uh, much so. And I think that... It's hard to pick, you know. It's I, very hard. And then, of course, there's Jordan and David as well. Yeah. Uh, but watching Stephen and Brian would be be quite interesting especially here yep. with and this technical course and that dd2 race as well robbie and chris both and dallas uh, too with us. yeah and dallas. can never count you dallas. can never count out dallas no he's quick and he's also very physically fit so yeah that helps especially in those longer races we saw him flexing earlier in the pits all yeah. the girls were swooning <laughs> and they're off steven jumped out quickly Yeah, I was talking to Steven earlier. He was telling me about a race that he's getting ready to go over to the Texas Motor Speedway and oh, run really? over there. Running the road course. No running the road course. Wow. Running the oval. Looking forward to it. As they come down the back straight, boy, they are nose to tail. They are shifting, up shifting, down shifting. Just a lot of activity happening in those carts. You know, but one thing about Steven, he gets out there in front, likes that fresh air. Yep. Look at him sliding all the way through the corners. These guys are flying. How yep. fast How fast do some of these carts go? You know, I bet you on the straight here, we're probably seeing close to about uh, 70, 80 miles an hour. We're on a short straight, too. Right. That's on quick. Full, on the full straight, I know some of these are capable of well over 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Quick carts. And look how fast they stop, too. So all the way down from about 70 down to about, you know, yeah. 15, 20 miles an hour just in an instant. These brakes take a beating. Of which, how often do you have to actually replace those? You know, on these shifters, I bet you it's a lot, a lot more often than it is on my little sportsman cart. I'll get about a half season on my sportsman, but I bet you it's not the same <laughs> for these guys. They're going a lot faster, breaking a lot harder. But you know what they've got over the sportsmen? They have front brakes, too, you know? That's, yes. That's almost cheating. I've only got a little wimpy brake on the back. That's got to help. Yep. Also, too, I noticed today was I was walking around earlier in the pit area, a lot of... A lot of fresh rubber on cars today. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we run a harder Burris tire, so these guys are running on a B55 for the uh, shifters, and then it's a Mojo tire for the DD2s. Oh, we got a little piece of something flew off one of the carts. Couldn't tell what that was. Yeah, look. Oh, it's an air filter. Oh. Hey, who needs that? Yeah, that's right. You able to see that? So, Ron, what's our fast lap so far? Looks like uh, we've actually had a couple of sub 40s here. Uh, 39.634 by Dallas LaSalle has been our fastest lap. And also, it looks like um, our second fastest lap has been by Stephen Lamano with a 39.709. The Ron, I just heard over the radio that the uh, corner workers believe number 22G of Stephen Lamano was the one that lost that air filter. Oh. So I wonder if that's going to play into his race. It'll be interesting to see. He leaves the pack now, but I don't know how those shifters, how do they, you know, do they work pretty well without the air filter? Or do they start to melt down? Remember those two strokes, they run them right on the edge of right. the longevity. So let's see. But so far, it doesn't seem to be hindering him at all. How Man. much How much does that air filter weigh? Because that could have some bearing uh, in, the, in the weight <laughs> shack, huh? <laughs> now, I've got a great race here between uh, Robbie Poupart and David Walker. I'm sorry, that was Chris Clement and Robbie Poupart. About a tenth of a second apart between those two, battling it out. He's got a family history. Yeah, sure does. Of racing. Uh, talked with his father last week, and he and his mother. Oh, Robbie makes a move. Oh, dove down on side. Can he make it stick? Oh, no. Let's see. Man, I think Chris took it back.
Hearing some tires squealing out there. Yeah, man, they are putting the rubber to the road. The tire vendors have to be happy. Especially over at the cart shop. Absolutely. A little shout-out to Paul Donovan on the grid there with Shumi's cart. Paul put up a great race in this last uh, Super Sportsman race. You know, it's good to see the, the father-son, or in his case, the father-grandson. Uh, grandson, sorry. Grandfather-grandson. Getting a little tongue twisted there. Humana, 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 humana. Yep, seeing them out there doing great. Then we see the McDonough cart out again. The last race before he had a little bit of a mistake, went down the, uh, the wrong way down the track. Caused him to have to make up a few positions, but, uh, man, we're cheering him on this time. Absolutely. Shumi's going to get it right. All right as the race goes on, uh, Stephen Lamana has about a one-and-a-half-second gap over Brian Whitmire in second place. But uh, both set fast laps on this pass round. Very good times. Look like uh, Lamana with a 39.597. No, oh, we have somebody off on the side of the track. And Whitmire with a 39.687. Let's see. Somebody's off getting out the cart. I wonder what cart number that is. Oh, no, and he's upset. Man, and Brian Whitmire assumes first place. Can't really tell what happened there. It looked like it's the number 22G. All right, so Ron, so that brings us uh, first and second. Brian Whitmire and Dallas LaSalle. Looks like they're about a 1.1 second gap between the two. But, man, Dallas just set the, uh, is it the fastest lap of the race. It is. Yeah, by over half a second there. Yep. And he's got uh, Brian Whitmire covered by half a second a lap so far. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he always seems to uh, get a little bit better as time goes on. That's what I'm saying. His his physical stamina is yeah, definitely, definitely very strong. Yep. Yeah, I was talking to some of the guys before the race, too, and some of them are setting their carts up to where they're really good in the last half of the race. Maybe not so quite quite as good as at the start. So it's kind of a trade-off, you know, as the tire starts to get get hotter and hotter. Right. You've got to make a decision. Do you want to be good in the first part and try to get a gap, or do you want to try to get better in the last part? Well, it's definitely turned into quite a battle here for our our front position. Yeah, great to see these strategies. Sal is right there on his back bumper now. Yep, gap down to just half a second, so he's picked up over a second in the yeah. last uh, last time around. So he's he's right on him now. Here they come, yeah, through the start finish. It looks like Dallas's nose and his cart is pushed in a little yeah. bit. I wonder if he got a little, uh, a little bump in like action. does look like he might have had a little bump. He's letting somebody know he's there. Yes, he did. Here they come through the back straight. Does Dallas have enough to pull him? No, uh, not quite. Not quite. Man, Brian Whitmire's cart is fast in a straight line, but I'll tell you what, Dallas, he is driving his cart to its max. Oh, oh. there we go. Great move. Great move by Dallas Boy, LaSalle. Uh, he absolutely set him up on that wow one. i mean brian just had a little bit of a gap and dude dallas just a little slide advantage if you saw dallas's cart as he came into the oval here you saw it was the rear was kind of hopping that beats your ribs to death does it oh my gosh that wears you out very quickly but again as the track gets hotter as the rubber gets down and your tires get sticky you start to really grip up Speaking of uh, ribs, did we ever have any report on our, our racer friend who had been hurt a while back? I, yeah, we sure did. How's sure he did. doing? He's starting to do a little bit better. He's, he's back to work and getting, getting a little work Good. done. And uh, rumor has it that for the next race, he's going to be out here pit crewing for his son. Excellent. I'm so, glad to hear that. Yeah, glad to hear he's glad doing have, better. Glad to have Gil back. Yeah, I know he took a pretty good shot. Yeah, sure did.
We've got it. Okay, they've taken the white flag. Dallas has gotten way out in front now. Here's the checkered flag for the 6D. The number 368 of Brian Whitmire. The 58 of Jordan Huguet, the 222 of Robbie Poupart. Robbie got way out in front. Robbie got way out in front and ran away from uh, Chris Clement. 